This happened a couple days ago. My cousin and I decided that we wanted to explore the woods in New Jersey. I am not going to disclose any locations due to privacy reasons. We wanted to explore the woods that were 30 minutes from our house. My cousin and I started riding our bikes towards the woods at 3. The ride to the woods was very boring and it took a long time. When we got to the woods, we looked around for the path that led into the woods. After a few minutes of searching, we found a small narrow path that led into the woods. We tied our bikes to a tree and started walking the path. At some point far in the woods, we started feeling as if we were being watched by something. That was when I turned on my camera and started recording. As I was recording, there was a loud weird sound that came from deep in the forest. Here is the video with the sound. This startled my cousin and I, as we both were expecting to see something walk out of the woods. When the sound finally stopped, we were not able to see anything. So we both got really scared and ran out of the woods, leaving and going back home. Around two days later, my cousin and I decided that we wanted to go back in the same woods to see if we could find whatever made that sound. This time we arrived at the woods earlier and we looked around for one hour. Since we cannot find anything, I started recording in hopes of catching something on camera. By this time, the sun started to go down and the woods were getting very dark. We continued walking down the trail further into the woods while recording in hopes of finding something. Then out of nowhere, we heard a loud scary screaming sound coming from deep in the woods. This sound was exactly the same as the sound we heard the first time. Here is the sound. At this point, my cousin and I were very convinced that there was something in the woods watching us. We both started running in the direction of the sound. We were so far in the woods that we no longer had cell service. Finally, we reached a large river, which we were not going to cross. As we were looking around, we heard running and sticks breaking from the other side of the river. We quickly looked towards the sound, but the only thing we could see was leaves and sticks moving, as if a large animal was walking through the woods. At this point, we both looked at each other and knew it was time to get out of there. To this day, we still don't know what animal made that scary sound. But one thing is for sure, some sort of large animal is living in those woods. My cousin and I always like riding bikes to new towns and areas to explore. We usually explore different parks and woods. Today we wanted to explore the woods that were 45 minutes away from my house. We were both 13 around the time. My cousin and I both took our bikes and we started off on our way to the woods. We have never been to this part of town and have never seen those woods before. All we saw were some pictures from Google. We also had the Google Maps on our phone as we were following the GPS to the woods. When we got close to the woods, we saw many people around there. My cousin and I decided to wait until it got really dark to start going into the woods because we did not want anyone to call the cops on us. When the sun finally started going down, we took our bikes and started riding down the narrow path. The path was pretty smooth, but occasionally there would be rocks and sticks causing our bikes to go very slow. After a little while, the path stopped in front of a river. There was lots of water because it rained yesterday. Luckily, we found a way to get across the river using a large tree. We were forced to leave our bikes on the other side. After a few minutes of exploring, we decided to go back to the other side to our bikes. Once we got to the same spot, our bikes were missing. 
At this point, we were both very scared because we knew that some people were messing with us and hiding our bikes. Since it was very dark at this time, I took out my flashlight and shined it around the woods. As I was looking around, I saw silhouettes of people standing around the trees. I also spotted our bikes, so we walked to them, forgetting about the silhouettes. On our way there, my cousin also saw some silhouettes of people standing by the trees. I knew the only way to be sure was to take a few pictures of the woods and see if we can catch anything on camera. After taking the pictures, we got back on our bikes and sped out of the woods. Once we both got out of the woods, we stopped to look at the pictures. In the first picture, we were able to catch something on camera. There is a silhouette of a tall figure on the right side of the photo if you zoom in. After we looked at all the photos, we realized we just barely escaped from the weird tall figure. Before we were about to start our 45 minute bike ride home, we heard loud running footsteps from the woods coming towards us. I looked back but did not see anything, so I gestured to my cousin to start riding away. To this day, I still don't know whether we were being watched the entire time in the woods by that tall figure. I always loved hiking, especially through the woods. It was always so relaxing and calming. I would basically always hike around my neighborhood in the small woods behind my house. One day, I decided to drive to a specific hiking spot. 30 minutes away. I packed up all my gear and I started driving towards the woods. On my way there, I realized that I decided to go too late and that the sun was already going down. Since I was almost there, I was not going to turn back now. So I continued. When I got to the woods, I took my gear out of my car and walked down the path. These woods were new to me as this was my first time here. Looking back on it now, this was a very dumb idea to go into the woods that I did not know at night. I took out my flashlight and shined it in front of me, illuminating the path. Since this was my first time in the woods, I decided to take some pictures and videos. After a little while of hiking further into the woods, I started hearing different noises from off the path that I was on. I was confident that it must have been some sort of animal, so I did not really think too much of it. At some point, I got a really bad feeling as if I was walking into a trap. I stopped and shined my flashlight all around to make sure no one was watching me. That was when I saw a man about 50 feet from me waving his hand at me. This was a very scary experience. I kept my flashlight on the man as I slowly took out my phone to take a picture for safety. I decided to take the picture in case I needed to show it to the police. Once I was done, I switched off my flashlight and started running towards the car. After a few minutes, I felt really tired, so I slowed back down to walking speed. I was very scared, constantly thinking about the man in the woods. As I was walking down the narrow path, I started hearing loud footsteps to my right from the woods. I knew the man had followed me, so I quickly shined my light in that direction. That was when I saw the same man, but this time he was a lot closer. I quickly ran off the path into the dark woods in hopes of losing him. I did this because I did not want him following me to my car. Luckily I had a compass on me, so I was able to find my way back to the car easily. When I finally got to my car, I felt a lot safer until I turned on my car headlights. The lights shined bright into the woods, revealing the man running towards my car at full speed. I quickly turned my car in reverse and sped out of there. Later at my house, I looked at the picture of the man and realized that it was very blurry, but you can clearly see a man waving at me. I still don't know what to do about that situation, but I just hope the man did not follow my car to my house.